One of the biggest differences so far in 2024 for the Buffalo Bills is that we have come together as a team, but in this video I want to explore some particular players that have risen to the occasion here, like our guy James Cook, who's currently on pace for 14 rushing touchdowns this season. This would be third in all-time Buffalo Bills history, behind O.J. Simpson at 16, Josh Allen at 15, and then James Cook at 14. One of the biggest differences that I see from James Cook this year is not only his patience running the football, it is his extra grit and effort putting his shoulder down into the thick of things, staying on his feet, refusing to go down, and fighting for each and every single yard that he can get. And you really take a look, James Cook putting himself out there for Bills Mafia. You know, I mean, just look at the play after play here. It, just unbelievable. Even getting credit here from Kyle Brandt on the Angry Run segment. Uh, James Cook is just lighting it up for Bills Mafia. And we can't forget our guy Ray Davis. Obviously, this was just a great play call by Joe Brady. But making a second move there and running in for the longest pass receiving touchdown of any running back since C.J. Spiller. Just remarkable that we're relying on rookies like Ray Davis stepping up to the plate here. Dorian Williams stepping up to the plate. Even Baylin Spector seeing the field and stepping up. DeMar Hamlin because of the loss at safety stepping up. And Mike Edwards not getting up to speed and thus releasing him during the season. You know, the Buffalo Bills depth is really the reason why we are being so successful in 2024. Obviously losing Matt Milano, who's going to be back for the regular season, but because of this player, Dorian Williams, stepping up to the plate and filling in for the loss of Matt Milano, going back to last year when everyone was wondering if Dorian Williams was going to be our starting middle linebacker. We went ahead with Terrell Bernard without any game experience, and Sean McDermott believed in what he saw during practice that Terrell Bernard was going to be the middle linebacker for the Bills and it really prepared us for Dorian Williams to back up Matt Milano and really helped us in 2024 as well as last year when Milano got hurt on that dirty London turf. Now you really look at it among 136 linebackers that have played a snap this year in the NFL Dorian Williams ranks second with 36 run stops. So knowing that Dorian Williams lacks overall size and same with Terrell Bernard, but they still are impactful against the run. They're able to shed blocks. They're able to read and diagnose plays. They're able to use their instincts to chase down ball carriers and really not allow these offensive linemen to get their hands on them. And next is Von Miller, who is really going back to his old ways in 2024 with the Buffalo Bills. Sure enough, the game that we lost 23-20 to against the Houston Texans, Von Miller was not there. And I'm sure if Von Miller was in that game, just that difference alone would have put us over the edge and beaten the Houston Texans. But you could see last week in Week 10, Von Miller, who's back in his second week after being suspended for four games, Von Miller had a 31.3% pass rush win rate. He was third among all pass rushers with a minimum of 15 snaps. This to me proves that Von Miller is clearly back to his old self and his Hall of Fame ways in Buffalo. Pro Football Focus is noting that Greg Rousseau was the highest rated Buffalo Bill versus the Indianapolis Colts. He had a 90.1 rating. Taron Johnson in his pick six. Taron Johnson at 85.5, Josh Allen at 80.1, and there's our guy, Dorian Williams, 77.2, which was slightly higher than Terrell Bernard's 77. You can see James Cook, all the running back share here at 86% in Week 10, getting the majority of the carries for the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills are hardly passing the ball here. We're passing the ball 22nd most in the NFL at 53.3%. Overall, as a team, the Buffalo Bills are running at the 11th most in the NFL, which is just much, much different than any other year here in Buffalo. Not so putting so much on Josh Allen's shoulders, relying on Josh Allen to to do so much, Ken Dorsey and Brian Dable. Joe Brady has taken a much different approach here, relying on James Cook, who's progressed into one of the best running backs in the NFL and potential going to finish third 
in the all-time touchdown, rushing touchdown list in Buffalo Bills history by the end of this season. I know the Buffalo Bills defensively have given up a lot of yards here. You could see close to top 10 in the NFL for the most amount of passing yards this defense has given up. And you could even see the total amount of rushing yards so far this year. The Buffalo Bills kind of in the middle of the pack. Uh, giving up 1,232 rushing yards. Giving up chunk plays is never a good thing, but when our backs are up against the wall, the amount of touchdowns, rushing touchdowns, the Bills have given up. I mean, are you kidding me right now? We have only given up six rushing touchdowns, which is fourth best in the NFL. Total amount of passing touchdowns the Buffalo Bills have given up. We've only given up 13, which is definitely top notch. Uh, I'd say top, definitely top 10 in the NFL. It's easy to say the Buffalo Bills have come together as a team in 2024, and that is the difference. But when you break it down on an individual basis, players like Dorian Williams, James Cook, rising to the occasion, progressing into the level of player that they currently are in this league, it is just absolutely remarkable to see. We're really complimenting one another. James Cook complimenting Josh Allen. This offense complimenting this defense at times, and really ultimately this defense complimenting the offense by not giving up touchdowns, creating turnovers, the best turnover differential in the NFL, giving Josh Allen this offense more opportunities, and even Josh Allen taking care of the football himself, not putting this team in harm's way, and just making things much easier on a week-to-week -week basis. All the turnovers last year, one of the worst turnover differentials that we have seen under the McDermott era, and we were still almost beating teams. So we have come together as a unit, as a team. We're taking care of the football. We have players like rookies and second, third year players really stepping up and becoming some of the best players in the NFL. Appreciate you guys all so much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe for future content. That's really how you're going to support me and my efforts for this channel. If you want to support me further, check out the links down below. SeatGeek is offering you guys $20 off your next purchase when you use promo code BNC. That's off this Buffalo Bills versus Chiefs game. That's off concerts in your local area. Whatever it is, go to SeatGeek.com. Check out the event. Might as well use promo code BNC to get $20 off. Also, Buffalo Fan Shop Etsy store that is linked in the description below. We have free shipping sizes small all the way up to 5XL. They're the perfect holiday gift or birthday gift. I have over 50 reviews and they are all five stars. So you can get colors from black, blue, gray, red, all sorts of different colors. Check it out. Very, very nice. And then finally, I have Course Careers is personally how I landed my full-time job in 2024 in this crazy tough labor market. I wanted a work from home job. I was driving to Kenmore, New York from Orchard Park every single day for 13 years as a property manager. I was seeing my friends break into tech, break into these careers that enabled them to work fully remote and make just as much money and even more money at times. So I pursued course careers, which enabled this for me. I can now juggle my YouTube channel. I can juggle my full-time job. Course Careers has all different courses where you can get started completely for free. And if you decide to purchase one of their full paid courses, you guys could use my promo code uh, and link in the bio to get $50 off the full paid course. But I appreciate you guys all so much. That's what Bill's Mafia is all about. I just want to help you guys live a more fulfilled life. Even just watching this channel, going through course careers, saving a little bit of money, getting a cool t-shirt. But I appreciate you. If you enjoyed this, hit like, subscribe, and go Bills.